So I've been getting this question about the Fire TV stick not working and don't know what to do, don't know how to fix it, just lost for words. This is going to be your video. It's going to be very, very simple to do, very easy. Um, I got to say, when you're doing some of this stuff and you're trying to get everything to work, it's not that hard. Um, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I try to get you guys here hooked up with all the latest and greatest stuff. Hopefully this can help you guys out. So this is just going to be some easy tricks that I like to do that is very, very simple. So um, the very first trick that I like to do, I know with some of these remotes, if we hold um, the home button, we can come here to settings and then we could go to shutdown and we could do all this, all these steps. Um, you can do that to do a soft reboot. Now, what I recommend is I'm going to come back here to settings and show you guys. This is going to be step one if you don't want to get up and unplug it. So step one is you go to my Fire TV and then you want to hit restart. When you hit restart, this is it's going to literally restart your whole thing. It's, it's, it's a soft reboot is what it does. It's going to shut it down. It's going to say your Fire TV Stick 4K Max is turning off, and then it's going to turn back on. You want to do this um, if you're having issues with uh, some of your apps not opening, some of the stuff just not working properly. Um, if it's lagging, bugging, whatever it is that it's doing, doing something like this does a restart. Now, um, personally, I very rarely have to do this, and I mean very, very rarely I have to do this. Um, this is one of those cases if, if yeah, if, if you just don't want to get up and unplug it. My number two option is the option that I typically do is I unplug the power of the fire stick, leave it alone for a few seconds, maybe like 10 seconds. You want it to do a full power down. Now, the reason why I say more than uh, like some people say unplug for like two, three seconds. No, you want to do it a little bit longer. Sometimes when you unplug it for a few seconds, there's still that much power that it's holding on to some sort of cache or some sort of something. And when you plug it in too fast, you still have the issue. I personally do 10, 15 seconds. Sometimes I just say, you know what? Let me just plug it off. I'm going to go get some water real quick, use the bathroom, brush my teeth. I don't know, something. Um, by the time I come back, it's been like 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, just depends what I'm doing. And that definitely would have killed any of the tasks. So that's usually step number two. That's my step number one. Okay. Now the next option that I would recommend is if you are having experience, um, with just apps buffering or just not working properly, what you want to do is come here to, um, go back to your settings and just come here to applications. You want to check your storage. So hover over this that says manage installed applications. I have 13 gigs worth of available storage there or 13 gigs on the device, but I have six with the stuff that I've added. Now, this is what you can do. I'm going to come here to manage. I'm at 6.05. Some of these you can uninstall. Some of them you cannot. So this one you can't. Um, for whatever reason, it won't let you. Amazon Live, I know you won't let you. Amazon Luna won't let you either. Some of these Amazons just, I don't know, they hate you. They don't want you to do it. So what I would do is I would come here to Downloader. This one says Cache 32 Megabytes. Um, I will clear the cache on that. Clear cache to bring it down a little bit. Um, and then I did forget to check on, let me see, Amazon Music. You can't even, ooh, Amazon Music, I can uninstall it. So that's good. That's 65 megabytes right there. I don't I don't need it. I don't use it. And then if for whatever reason I want to use my music on the app, then I can do that. Here is um, Amazon Luna. That again, I don't need it. But it doesn't give me an option to, I could clear cache, but 90 kilobytes is nothing. Um, yeah. Kind of, it's kind of, it is what it is. Um, so you got your files here. This doesn't have anything in my cache, so that's fine. The Fire TV Player, um, it has five. The application's a hundred data. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. Um, and there's nothing I can do with this one, so I'm just gonna force stop. I can't uninstall it. I can't. I can't do. I can't open it from here. So I'm just gonna do a clear cache and clear data because I don't need some of this stuff that's in there. So the data is 29 uh, megabytes. 
So it's just, it's just going to shrink it down there. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, Freebie. I typically don't use Freebie. Sometimes I have it there, but I'm going to use Clear Cache. I'm going to leave the data there for now because the data is very, very small. Haystack. I don't use the news on this. So this is what I like to do. Clear Cache. Clear Data. Wait a few seconds. Uninstall. Once you do that, it should clear a lot of it down. So I do use Hulu. I do have the K app. Um, I do use Peacock. I do use Plex. I don't use Pluto TV. So this is the same thing that I'm going to do. Um, clear cache, clear data, and then just uninstall it because, again, I don't use it. Um, and then I just kind of go through the things here. So some of this stuff here, like TV mates got 118 megs. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear the cache on that. Not the data. Don't do data because then it'll delete your username and password. Um, and then I'm just going to back out and see how much I got. So I got almost half a gig back just by doing some of those simple things. And if you have a fire stick, that's a little bit less of storage that could help you out a lot. Um, cool. Okay, next thing you want to do, you're not going to like this one. My Fire TV, reset to factory defaults. Do you want to reset? Yes, reset. Now, this what this does, and, and before, um, well, I'm, I'm not going to do it because I don't need to do it. But what, this, what that last one does, um, it wipes out everything. Um, it'll delete your username, password, it'll delete all the apps. It'll pretty much put it back to factory settings to how you first bought it brand new. Now, hopefully that will clear any issues and everything and you can start all over again. I use that as a last resort if I just cannot delete everything that's on there. Um, some stuff when you delete an APK and you have a file and you say delete the app, it doesn't delete the file. So the file is still sitting in the background. And the only way to get to it is going through ES File Explorer and then just digging through the files. Um, typically, I have almost six and a half gigs of available storage. I'll just leave it alone. If you're with a regular Fire Stick and you're just like, I got two gigs available or less, then you need to delete some stuff, definitely. Um, and then, the last option will be get rid of it and buy a Fire Stick Max. Buy something that has more storage or buy an NVIDIA Shield or buy something else. Um, yeah, that'll be like I give up. <laughs> I give up mode. The Fire Stick Max is a great device because it does have a lot of storage and you don't have to worry about limitations. But those are my steps on how to fix the device. That's, yeah, let me know if there's anything else, if you're having any issues with how to fix it. If you're having issues with like buffering, even after you did all of that stuff, you might want to unplug the modem and router. Um, unplug it, leave it off for 30 seconds, plug in the modem first. That's the one that has the cable in. And then plug in the router second. That's the one that sends the signal out. If you have a two-in-one where it's just one device, um, obviously just unplug one, wait 30 seconds and plug it back in. But it's going to be 30 seconds if you do have the modem and the router. 30 seconds, plug it in, wait 30, wait 30 seconds again, and then plug in the other one. Just to give it time for the one to fully reboot before you can get the other one going. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. I think if there's anything else that you guys are looking for, leave me a comment below. Hopefully I, I could help you guys out. But yeah, it's pretty simple. With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.